Let's go on and discuss how you can create new database and new collection and how you can drop them. Let's start from the node. There is no command in the MongoDB shell to create new database. New database will be created as soon as you will create first collection in this new database. All what you need to do is to just start using this new database and type use and for example test and then active database will become test. But at this moment this database will not be created yet until you will create first collection in this database. In order to create new collection just use create collection method of the DB object and type db.createCollection and pass an argument to this method. Argument will be a string with the name of new collection. Then using show collections command you will ensure that this collection was created. If you need to delete a collection you must use drop method. And there are two options how you can accomplish this. So first option is following. You just use getCollection method and pass collection name as an argument to it and then perform drop. And second option, you don't use the getCollection method, you just pass collection name without double quotes. But first option is preferable. So I suggest you to use always getCollection method instead of just accessing collection by its name. And finally, there is a command to drop database. Just Type db.dropDatabase and empty parentheses. So this command does not accept any arguments, it will just drop active database. Those commands are used to create collections and databases in MongoDB shell. In graphical interfaces everything is much more easier and you can perform these tasks in a couple of button clicks. Let's switch to MongoDB shell and create new databases and collections there. I am in MongoDB shell already, so show DBs. Here is a list of current databases. DB. I am currently in admin database. So let's create new database called MyDB. Type use MyDB and enter. Let's now look at the list of databases. Show DBs. You see that there is no MyDB here. It's because I have not yet created any collection inside of this new MyDB. But if I issue DB command, you see that active database is MyDB. So let's create our first collection in this MyDB. So just type db.create. Remember that you can use tab. There are four create options here, so just continue typing, create call and press tab now. And here command was completed. So create collection, then pass a string as an argument and enter here name of this new collection. So let's name it just first and close parent and press enter. MongoDB returned me an object with a key OK and value is 1. It means that create collection command was executed successfully. So let's look now at the list of collections here. I'll show collections here. And you see first is a collection inside MyDB. Again DB is active database. And let's look at the list of databases now. So show DBs. And now you see that MyDB is on the list of the databases. So it was created together with the first collection called first. Let's create second collection db.create collection second enter show collections now two collections first and second. I have switched to Robo3T and let's open embedded shell here and examine same information. So make sure that you will connect to same MongoDB server where you have just created couple of collections. In my case it is Amazon EC2 MongoDB connection. So choose it and right click open shell 
and in the shell type show dbs command enter and here you see my db is on the list now expand amazon ec to mongodb connection tree you will see my db here on the list and right click on it and open shell now you see that i am in the db my db and type show collections here command enter and you see list of collections first and second let's insert one more collection here db create collection third and command enter and you see same answer ok is one and now show collections command enter first second third now i have three collections in this database let's expand three on the left side collections here and you see first second and third collections in this list you can create new collection using graphical interface here so just select collections right mouse click and create collection and add fourth collection and click create so fourth collection was created let's issue show collections command now command enter and here you see fourth collection is here so pretty simple same you can create new database in graphical interface so just click on the connection right click and create database and let's create database called another db and click create and another db was created so show dbs here command enter admin config local my db but you don't see another db here why because another DB doesn't have yet any collection inside. So let's create collection inside another DB. So just expand another DB, choose collections here, right click, create collection, and also create first collection here. So create. And let's issue show DB's command now, command enter, and now another DB is on the list. So we can open shell to another DB, right click, open shell. And list collections here, show collections. And we see first collection is on the list. So pretty simple, yeah? Same operations you can perform in Mongo Compass. Let's connect to same server, Amazon EC2 MongoDB. In my case, click connect. And here you see the list of already created databases. Another DB, my DB. There is one collection in another DB four collections in MyDB. So just expand on the left side MyDB, first, second, third, fourth. Let's create new collection here. Just click plus and type fifth collection. So just click create collection and new collection was created here. Also, you can create new database. Just click plus at the bottom, create database. And here you will need to enter database name and collection name in order to create database and collection inside of it. Let's create database called one more db and collection name inside of it first and click create database. And you see one more db was created. And now I have three custom databases here. Another db, my db and one more db. Okay, let's switch back to Mongo shell list dbs here show dbs and let's drop for example one more db i need to switch to it using use command one more db press enter and just type db drop database and parentheses please note that this command doesn't accept any arguments and let's execute it again result is returned as an object with key value pairs so dropped one more db okay one show dbs you don't see one more db on this list let's delete one of the collections inside of the database let's switch to another db use another db 
show collections here. There is a just one collection first. Let's delete this collection inside of another DB. So just type db.getCollection. Then an argument collection name dot drop and parentheses. So this command will drop this collection. Just press enter. Returns true. Show collections now. Collection list is empty. Let's look at the list of dbs. Show dbs. You see no another db here. It means that as soon as you delete last collection in the database, this database will be deleted as well. Let's switch to my db. Use my db. We will not delete it now because we will use it in the next sections. So just delete couple of collections here. So show collections here. First, second will remain and just delete the rest. In order to perform operations with collections, you can also use dot notation without get collection method. Just type db dot third dot drop and parentheses. Enter and you see result true. Show collections now. There is no third collection. Let's delete fourth and fifth. DB fourth drop DB fifth drop true. Show collections now. So two collections left, first and second. So in order to proceed, please leave just one MyDB database and two collections inside of it, first and second. In the next section, we will discuss document creation and you will create first document in the newly created collection. See you shortly.